Hi everybody, welcome to Destu Care Kyushu and stuff and life is a hot mess. <laughs> Today we're going to do a kimono haul. I've been waiting a couple weeks to get everything in order. Um, everything's just been kind of slowly coming in so we're going to show you a couple, I'm going to show you a couple of things and I'm going to show you some stuff I've been working on because I've been making some kimono collars and yeah i've been kind of stuck in the house so that's how life's been for at least about a week because i think alabama has been in quarantine for at least seven eight days i'm not even sure anymore i don't i don't know <laughs> so let's look at the kimono stuff um, first thing I'm going to show you is this really adorable kids obi that I got for a dollar. Um, it is a pre-tied obi and it's got these cute little bows on it and they're silver. Super cute. And yeah, I got that for a dollar with free shipping. So pretty cool. Um, next thing I got is this OB that I need to fold. This is a Summer Nagoya OB. Look how pretty that is. I'm not going to put it on, but I need to fold it. Take some time. I don't know if you can see the print. It's got this here. And then on the, um, I guess the Teisaki, I do you believe that's what it's called. It's got one there. Here it is. Right there. I need to fold this bad boy. Nagoya Obis are fun to fold. And I paid $4 for that. A dollar and then $3 for shipping. This one is another Nagoya Obi with paper frames, which is folded. I didn't unfold it. I haven't worn it yet. Um, this just is a regular Nagoya Obi. Really pretty. That's black and red. And it cost me six bucks plus shipping. So nine, I think nine bucks. So two Obis. I got a new Juban. This one was probably my most expensive. This was nine, nine fifty. And it's just this really pretty orange jubon. This is, I have three jubon and this is the only jubon I have that has the tie sewed onto it and it's got this really pretty sakura floral pattern on it and it's got the black collar sewn on it already so it has a new collar so I don't have to sew a new collar on it I also got a new coat a Michiyuki summer coat this is really pretty but it needs a bath and I'm not sure how to go about cleaning it because I don't know about how it was I don't know how old it is or um, how the butterflies were dyed because it's got a purple 
um, butterfly pattern, but it's got a kind of dirt smell to it. But that, it's not so bad. It's it doesn't have any stains. Um, but it's a very long summer Mitsuyuki. Very pretty, and it's like a perp grayish purple with the purple butterflies on it. And that is my haul so far. This was six dollars, I do believe. And I made two collars. Um, this is my summer jubon. And Ohio Kimono has a tutorial for how to do um, a Velcro attachment to your Jubon. So I did it to this Jubon, but I need some um, like liquid stitch or fabric glue to attach the Velcro. So I'm not finished with this, but this is a collar that I made. It's a leopard print. And I cleaned this Jubon the other day, which was really scary. There are no real tutorials on how to wash kimono or Jubons other than like Yukata. And it was really scary. All I really did was I filled up my sink with a uh, cold water and baby soap baby soap just baby like um johnson's baby soap and swirled it around and i dipped the jubon into the water and swirled it really gently and the water turned a yellowish brown color and i dipped it a few times and i got a towel laid it in the floor and I put the jubon on that to catch the water and I put it in my drying cabinet because I don't have a place to hang it outdoors. I don't have a drying line or anything like that. And this is where I messed up. I accidentally burned the collar. I didn't realize the collar was silk and I burned it. So I had to remove the collar and I made a new one. And that's where I decided to do the Velcro. And you can check out Ohio Kimono's um, website for that um, tutorial it takes about like five six pieces of little velcro and some liquid stitch and you just attach it to your jubon and your collar and there you go or you can do safety pins billy matsunaga on youtube also has tutorials on how to attach kimono collars or hanari collars with safety pins and fabric tape without having to sew it on so you can do that but this is a collar I made and I also made this collar this is the one I'm working on I haven't finished it yet as you can see I'm still got pins this is a three point or I call it a three point collar I made it I modeled it after the collar that I had on that other jubon. You can see I got a seam here and a seam here. So it sits around the neck and there's a seam here and a seam here. Can't really see it and it just sits like this. Let's see, I gotta take that needle out. But I got this fabric from Bonafool Designs off eBay. I have their card, which I can link you to if you want this fabric, which is really cute. This is, I used two quilt scraps to do this. This is about um, a seven by 33 Hanary. So that's what I've been up to. Um, you can't really see my makeup. I recently got the ColourPop Sailor Moon makeup 
eye palette. I'm wearing orange. It's really pretty. And that is it. That is what I've been up to while being in quarantine <laughs> in Alabama. Um, and my cat driving me nuts, as you can tell. I'm sure you can hear her. Her name is Potato. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. If you're on Instagram, you can see um, I put my daughter Emery in her kimono and put her in her obi, which was really hard because I don't know if you have a two-year-old or two-year-olds. In my case, I have two-year-olds. Putting them in a kimono is really hard. Um, and putting an obi on them was even harder because she didn't understand. She thought the bow goes on your head and she wanted it on her head. And she was, at first she was fine until I got, I started tying everything and she was like, I want it off. So, you know, that was fun putting a kimono on a two year old. They don't like to wear it very long, but it finally fits her. I've had the kimono, or the kimonos for my daughters for at least a year or so. I'm not even sure how long I've had it, had them, um, but they've been, they've been too big up until now. But I'm looking for another pre-tied children's OB for my other daughter. So if you know where to get one in a simple um, bow style for a cheap price, let me know. I am looking, like I said, I paid a dollar for that red one. So the quality, it can be an antique, that's fine. It can be a little damaged, that's fine. A little stain, that's fine. It's going on a two year old, so no worries and I can do any kind of repairs so no big deal um that's pretty much it um I'll be doing some pop reviews pretty soon I've got the Evangelion Pops finally yay Evangelion Pops and I will also be talking about green hair dye soon because as you can tell, my hair is green, and it is not a very pretty shade of green, in my opinion. It, you can't really tell it in this light, and I also have my hair up, but I'm not a fan. But I'm going to be fixing it soon, I hope. It just depends. Um, I'm wearing Arctic Fox Phantom Green right now, and it, it did not take very well to my hair, so I'm going to try Manic Panics and change it Forest pretty soon. And see how that takes on my hair and we'll go from there after I test that out give it a wash or two I'll do a review on that because there's not many reviews on green hair dye other than like Arctic Fox we will see but that is it thanks for watching stay safe practice social distancing please stay healthy and I won't talk about it anymore. I'm sure you've heard enough. 